In this review, let's talk about recursive function. So here's the problem first. Given the recursive function defined by f of 1 equals 1, f of 2 equals 2, f of n is equal to 2 times f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2, where n is greater than or equal to 3, what is the value of f of 5? So let's talk first, what is a recursive function? A recursive function is simply a sequence where each term of the sequence is defined as the function of the preceding term. For example, in order for me to get f of 3 here, I need to know first what is f of 2. In order for me to get the next term, I must be able to base my value on the value of the previous term. And a recursive function can be considered as simple, or it could be considered as complex or chaotic. Now, to give you a little background here, an example of a simple or the linear recurrence relation is the Fibonacci sequence. This is simple because, for example, you know the first two terms, you can find the next term of the Fibonacci sequence by simply adding these two numbers to get 2, and then you add again 1 plus 2 to get 3, you add 2 plus 3 to get 5, 5 plus 3 equals 8, and so on and so forth. And it's easy for you to be able to find what's the next term. And some application of this Fibonacci uh, sequence is that this can be used to model the growth of the rabbit population. Now, the complex or chaotic recursive function is of great interest to engineers and mathematicians and physicists because by nature, our physical system is inherently nonlinear. For example, you might have heard about the butterfly effect. In the butterfly effect, it says that the flipping or the flapping of the wings of butterfly could have an effect on the creation or the absence of hurricane. By nature also, weather is very chaotic and unpredictable. And this system of complex recursive function falls under one branch of mathematics, which we call as the nonlinear analysis. And this is the one being used by, in order to track weather, in order to study weather system, economics, and all those that we cannot predict. But for our purpose, let's go back to our problem and let's see how to solve this one. So we have here f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is 2, f of n is twice the product of the value of f of n minus 1. So let's say here n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. If n is 1, f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is 2. If n is greater than or equal to 3, so we have here 3, so we're going to use f of n here. We compute that as 2 times what is f of n minus 1. Our n is 3. If n is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. So what is our f of 2? f of 2 is 2. So therefore, this value f of n minus 1 is simply 2. Plus f of n minus 2. If our n is 3, if n is 3, what is n minus 2? That becomes 3 minus 2 equals 1. In other words, we are asked to find what is f of 1 here. So what's our f of 1? f of 1 is this value 1. So therefore, our value here is 2 times 2, 4 plus 1 is 5. Now to get f of 4, we have to compute again this one. 2 times f of n minus 1. Our n here is 4, so that becomes f of 4 minus 1, which is simply f of 3, plus f of, our n again is 4, 
minus 2. Now, what is the value of f of 4 minus 1? 4 minus 1 is 3. What's f of 3? f of 3 was the value that we have just computed. That's 5. So 2 times 5. That means this f of n minus 1 thing is the value of the previous computation, which is 5. Plus, 4 minus 2 is 2. So this is f of 2. What's f of 2? f of 2 is 2. So 4 plus 2 equals 10 plus 2 is 12. Now we are asked to find what's the value of f of 5. So let's continue with n is 5. Let, let me put here f of 5. f of 5 is equal to 2 times f of 5 minus 1, which is f of 4, plus f of 5 minus 2, which is f of 3, which is equal to 2 times, what is f of 4? f of 4 is this value, 12, plus f of 3 is this value, 5. So therefore you have 2 times 12 equals 24, plus 5 equals 29. Our answer is letter C. Notice also that in order for us to get the next term, we must be able to get the previous term. And that is what we mean by this recursive function.